Uh, and you know what, it's great to get out and ride right now, but we're hoping to do the same thing in October in the fall for something new, and it's the Ride for Autism. Joining us, uh, Quick Start Founders, so great to have you back on the show. Wonderful programs. We have Suzanne Jacobson, and also joining us, uh, the Motorcycle Ride for Autism, one of the organizers, uh, David Canoli. Great to have you here. Thanks for Thank the you. bike, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. No, and Enjoy. then I said I'd love to see you. Puts it up, stands it straight, <laughs> and we're ready to go. This is a great bike, by the way. Cappuccino uh, on the side there, so. Is there really? <laughs> no. I, I, you know, there's so many gadgets here, I could actually see that there might be. Uh, for people who aren't familiar, quickly uh, break down what the Quick Start program is. What we do is there's very long wait times uh, for children. Uh, when you're concerned about your child, they might have autism. It's years, and so what we do is we get early intervention to the children through the funds raised for us. We provide free programs for the kids. You've done a great job at raising your own kids, and now it seems like you've really, as grandparents, taking on the new role of helping out your grandchildren. And so, uh, Dave, for you, you have two uh, two grandchildren, and, and young, and you know, youngest little girl, she's turning three. Is it her birthday? Three today, three, actually. So she yeah. wish her a happy birthday. What was that like for the for the family to understand that this was something you would be dealing with? A little bit uh, um, overwhelming. It just, uh, what do you do? How do you do it? Uh, where do you start? What can you do? And uh, uh, we were sort of directed towards Suzanne and, and, and realizing that she needs money and what can I do to help? And this is the only, this is the first thing I thought of anyway. Well, so. it's something that you're passionate about, so you knew that you, that you could help. And this is it, right? Is that you want to be able to get, and they're young children, you want to be able to get them in as young as possible because that's really where the biggest change, changes are happening. Yes, we, there's studies showing now that when we get the children right away, when they first show the signs of autism, they were actually changing the brain. Need to get it done earlier. So what you've done is said, I'm taking my bike and we're heading out. So how did the whole aspect of the ride for autism come about and what are you expecting for the day? Uh, well, I always did the ride for dad and I thought I'd just sort of concentrate on the ride for autism, but there wasn't one. So uh, we decided to do one, make one. Um, no real expectations. I have no idea what we'll get, although we have a very nice, uh, several nice donations from uh, lots of people already. We're probably somewhere around $5,000 in donations and things like that. And, and uh, um, uh, hopefully beautiful work? colors and, sorry? It, will, it, it would be a great color. So what, when, when's the date? October 6th. We start at uh, Holiday Inn, Bells Corners. Mayor's gonna kick us off. We go through, uh, you know, Richmond, Merrickville, Burt's Rapids, along the canal. We go over a uh, swing bridge, uh, Narrows Lock Swing Bridge, wind up at Westport, come back through Maberly. It's a pretty, wow. pretty route. This is a nice, nice ride. Route. So how long do you expect people to be out on the bikes taking it all in? Uh, four, four and a half hours. So that really yeah. is, it's, it's a ride, but you're embracing, you have so many people with yeah. you, and then they'll come back and there'll be lots of activity back at the park. Yeah, yes. yeah. there's pizza, there's hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, Haircut if anybody with helmet head wants to get a haircut. <laughs> and uh, um, lots of stuff for the kids. Uh, we're thinking of a little bouncy castle and uh, we have the option outdoors. Hopefully it'll be nice and but also a big facility at the Best Western in Bells Corners again, uh, inside. So That's rain or shine, one. we'll be doing something. Classic Volkswagen Club is coming and uh, hopefully classic cars. You got all of the aspects of whatever's on wheels, and I think it's to get the wheels turning too for the kids. And so, if there's families, even if they're if they're not taking, they don't have a bike, they're not hanging out for the ride. But new families to the city or who have just been diagnosed, that this is a great place too to come out and meet other families, Definitely. see the programs that they're involved in, and see how they can uh, really start getting information from other parents to start working with their own children. Yeah. Definitely, and you can register online already. Uh, right now, we're taking registrations. And uh, the registration is going to be MotorcycleRideForAutism.com. Pretty simple with that one. Yeah, motor uh, sorry, MotorcycleRideForAutismOttawa.com. Autism Ottawa, thank you. It was on your screen. Hopefully you wrote it down in the event happening once again on October the 6th. Great to see you again. You've done well. I love the logos and everything. And, and this the one, this is for you. I like it. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. It'll fit and I can wear this right here because there's no way I'm actually taking control of any of these. <laughs> uh, 